Here are my three tips to help you make the most out of your presumably paid consultation with an attorney, whether it takes place in person, over the phone, or by Zoom video. Tip number one, make a list of questions that you have for that attorney. Make a list of questions and topics that you would like to discuss. This will really help you have a much more productive and useful consultation. Instead of bouncing randomly from question to question and from topic to topic, you will have some type of order in which you would like your discussion to go. You're paying for it, so get the most value out of it by having some kind of structure to your conversation. Also, during your consultation, don't be shy. Have your list in front of you, and if you have some additional questions, or if you would like to run some unexpected hypotheticals by the attorney that maybe you didn't have in mind before, you can just jot down notes during your consultation and follow up on those issues at the end of your conversation with that lawyer, or not necessarily in the end, maybe even before that. It's often important to ask, well, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? Will this make a difference? Will this make my situation better or worse? Will this make my case stronger or weaker. Tip number two, ask your lawyer why questions when appropriate. Most of the laws are not rocket science and you will be able to understand why you have a strong case or why you don't have a strong case or why you don't have a case at all. You will be able to understand why a particular document helps you or hurts you, whether it's drafted well or it has some problems and ambiguities. Um, ask your lawyer, why do you think uh, is my case weak or is my case strong? What makes it good? What makes it not so good? What makes this document well written? What makes this contract properly drafted or problematic? When you understand not only what, but also why you're making a certain decision about your case or about a document, it will put your mind at ease. It will make you feel much better about whatever the decision you make. There is a big difference between somebody telling you you don't have a case and you getting upset uh, versus someone rationally and logically explaining to you while you're listening why your case is not worth pursuing. And then when you walk out of that consultation, instead of feeling bummed out, you feel, wow, I might have dodged the bullet. I didn't pursue something that would have ended up being just a waste of time, money, and energy. And this brings me to my third and somewhat related tip. Many people feel very strongly about their situation, especially when they think they have a strong case. And when they go to talk to a lawyer and that lawyer doesn't tell them what they want to hear, when that lawyer starts poking holes in their case, they get irritated and they basically make up their mind about that lawyer, believing that he's not competent and thinking, I'm just going to go to another lawyer or or to more than one other lawyer, and I'm going to find someone who, quote unquote, believes in my case and who is going to tell me what I want to hear. This is not a productive approach. If the lawyer pokes holes in your case, logically, then chances are that that lawyer knows what he's talking about. So it's worth listening to him because you're already there. You're already paying. Write down what he says, even if you maybe disagree with it. Don't be afraid to disagree during the consultation. You don't have to argue or fight, but don't, don't be afraid to have a rational debate or a rational discussion. Now, it's perfectly fine to seek second or even third opinion. You maybe will talk to another lawyer or two about the same situation because you want to run by your, your issue. You want to run your issue by them. But second or third opinion will only be useful if you fully understand the first opinion. So don't just dismiss it. Don't disregard it. If the lawyer sounds like they don't, they don't think that you have a case, if they tell you something that you didn't expect or you don't like, Still, make sure that you listen, you understand where they're coming from, because it will necessarily help you make the right decision about your issue, whether this is the only lawyer you're going to talk to, or whether you're going to talk to one, two, three, or more lawyers. Thank you.